Welcome 2024, the year of amazing reads. Good morning, it's Karen and Happy New Year! We're going to pull my reads for January 2024. Eee! I'm, I'm so excited. I'm filming this like way ahead of time because I just can't contain how excited I am. These are jars that I have recently revamped and I've put a whole bunch of new ones in and you can go back and watch some of my videos and find out all sorts of reads that I've put into these jars, but we're gonna just draw them. We're going to draw two from my dragon jar, which is the jar of my top most want to reads. Then we're going to take two from my Prince Charming jar. And those ones are the like second tier, like I'm excited to read these. And then one from my Hero's Journey jar. And that one is the ones that I've sort of lost a little bit of interest in because I still don't really know much about them. Here we go. Let's start with the dragon jar. Now for those of you wondering, I do color code these. I think I changed my system and I've kind of messed with it a little bit, but for the most part, this beautiful icon will tell you the color scheming for each of the picks that I pull. The first one is, oh, I can't get any. All right, blue. There we go. The last Quintista. So this one is actually one that I talked about in my last video. This is a middle grade. It is a generation ship and there is some Central American inspiration for it. I'm looking forward to this one. It is a little sad apparently. Um, so I'm hoping not to be have my 2024 already put out the last Quintista. That's our first one. Second one. Here we go. Oh, another blue. Wow, we're going blue. Oh, yes. Okay. Moon of the turning leaves. Yay. Okay, I'm super, super excited that I got this one. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Okay. This is the second book. I don't know what the series is called. The first one was Moon of the Crested Snow, and I absolutely loved it. I am a sucker for any sort of dystopian that has some kind of like plague, but kind of also some coziness to it. Like Station Eleven is like one of my favorite books ever. So in the first book, there was some sort of disaster that happened outside the world, and the power went out on this reserve in... I think it was Northern Ontario and it is a, a, an indigenous community and the main character is this man and he's a dad and he's like the, the, the best person to read from. I don't know, I just really enjoyed his character and there were some strangers that came to town and they made a big mess of everything and now I'm I don't even know if this takes place in the same, I'm assuming the same world. I don't know much about this one. I'm just excited because I really love the first book. Boop. Prince. First of two. Purple fantasy. Oh no, okay. Oh yeah, okay. This is not an oh no. This is like a, I wasn't expecting to read this one. I will try it. This is The Hod King. This is by Josiah Bancroft. This is the third book in the San Lena Sen series. The Hod people are kind of like this weird enslaved kind of under underclass of people in this tower that as you go up each level is richer than the last and a little themed differently. Yeah, the Hode people are kind of like on the periphery. So the Hode King, it's a, this is a big book. January, big book. I can do it. Second one. Another blue. Wow. We're just blueing it up. Okay. Whale fall. 
mean, I was really excited about this one. Whale Fall is a book about a scuba diver who gets swallowed by a whale and has to get out and survive and is running out of oxygen. I'm hoping it's thrillery so that it'll be really fast, but oh my goodness, I don't know what it is. I read Moby Dick two years ago and whales are just fascinating creatures. So this ought to be a fun one. We put you back. This is the Hero's Journey. I'm only going to pick one of these ones. Purple Fantasy. I did it. I did it. The Blood Trials. Why was that in here? That was an accident. Blood Trials should have been in the Dragon Jar. This one never came out of my jars last year. I put it in my dragon jar all last year. Maybe, maybe it might have started out in my prince jar. But I have wanted to read this all last year. And I'm going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Yes. Okay. Um, this is a story about a woman whose family is murdered and she's going to take revenge. Okay. Just because it's January and I'm like super duper excited to make another pick, I'm going to do another pick out of this one. I wouldn't normally. These ones are the take it or leave it. I can read them or not. Um, okay, let's do it. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. It's pink. What was pink? Contemporary thriller, romance, literature. That's a lot of things. Okay. This one is Hemlock Island. I know next to nothing about it. This is a thriller. There's an island and it's called Hemlock Island. This, this is what I'm talking about. These are the books that I've totally forgotten about, but they were on my list. I'm okay with a thriller. Do I do another one? I'm going to do another Prince. No. Okay. I'm just too excited. I'm just too excited. I'm just too excited. Okay. 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 We're going to do the Prince. We're going to do the Prince. The Prince. Here we go. Can I do it? Can I? Another blue! Blue! Okay. Blue. Science fiction historical. Old Man's War. Okay. Okay. Old Man's War. Can we do it? We can do it. We can totally do it. That's a lot. Oh my goodness. What did I just do? What did I just do? Okay. In my excitement, I think I've picked too many books. Okay. Apparently I only have two of them down here. So I have the Old Man's War. 350. That's not too bad. Okay, Moon of the Turning Leaves. Oh, 301 pages. That is not too bad. Okay. It's seven books. On average, I've been doing six books a month. So this should be manageable. We've got some fantasy. We've got a lot of science fiction. We've got some of my challenges that I have. So like reading my classic science fiction. I've got reading books that I wanted to get to and I haven't gotten to, and they're in my top 10. My name is Karen. I am the book Liebernaut. I love exploring all different types of books and I am so excited for 2024. <laughs>some five star predictions. Okay. Five star predictions are The Blood Trials, Moon of the Turning Leaves, The Last Contista, Old Man's War, and Whale Fall. I want by the end of this five five stars. Okay. Come back in February and find out if I got those five five stars.